My name is Roy Moore with Ashley's Restaurants, and we're here featuring one of the beers for the 2012 Ashley's Belgian Beer Festival from Van Eck Brewery. And to tell us about Van Eck is Pete Larson with the Global Beer Importers, the specialist for Capital and Van Eck Beer. So, Pete, thanks for stopping by. And Roy, thank you for having me today. What, what can you tell us about Van Eck? Well, the important thing to know about Van Eck uh, is a family owned brewery. Uh, the uh, brewery dates back to 1629. Uh, so they are a brewery steeped in heritage, okay. and it's very important to know that uh, they, uh, the brewery is in the hop growing region of Belgium. Okay. Um, Van Eck is in the, uh, the Watu area. Okay. Now Watu, you, you might know uh, that as the area where uh, St. Bernard is, mm -hmm. or the Trappist West Lettering is located. Okay. And all of those breweries, and, and, and some other breweries, get their hops from that area. Okay. And they use locally grown hops to produce the Van Eck beers. Okay. And that, is, I think, is the most important part. There's a beautiful uh, hop museum in the area, and uh, their their whole culture and, and, and the whole production of the beers is based on their hops. Okay. Well, and one of the beers we didn't bring it here today, but we will have it on draft at the Belgian Festival, is Hoppering's Hollow Beer. Hoppering being the region, and Hamel being their local dialect for hop. Correct. But, yes. And it's a hoppy Belgian beer, which is a different profile than the U.S. It, beer. Correct. It is a hoppy Belgian beer. Uh, the beer is made with European hops. Okay. So the the American quote unquote hop head, mm -hmm. um, you're not going to get the, the grapefruit or the hop character that you'd expect from a, an, an American hop. Um, so they're they're made with the European hops. They're made with Saz, Challenger, Target hops. Okay. And uh, each 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 brew will have a different uh, recipe for the use of those hops. But they are grown in that region. Uh, Hoppering being the region, um, uh, Hamel, like you said, is the dialect for the word hop. Okay. Um, and a very important thing. Now, Roy, I know this sounds funny, but uh, they only grow female hops. Okay. In Belgium. Okay. Why is that? <laughs> well, the, it, it, it's important to understand that um, when you pour a Belgian beer, and, and, and I, I'd like to pour a Belgian beer with you here, Roy. Always. It, 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 <laughs> How can you argue against pouring a good Belgian beer? You can't. Um, the important thing is, is what you see right here is the head of the beer. Um, and you can get the aroma. I know you can't uh, get the aroma there on the... Uh, the video on the video but the head is a very important part of I mean, they, they craft they engineer they design their beers including to give and have it the full rich head they look at for the lacy feel and how it will settle Correct. in the glass and you can see the rich thick foaminess and the, the head of the beer now when you use only female hops you're <laughs> you're getting the best head possible okay. you really are um, when you're using there are male hops, and there are oils and seeds in the male hops that will cut down on the head, and that's very indicative of the English ales. Okay. Very low carbonation, low head. Mm -hmm. uh, that is part of the, the male hops that are used in English beers, and female hops that are used in the, in the, uh, in the Belgian beers produce the uh, richest, creamiest uh, head that you can get. Female hops give good head. Eh? Okay, you we, said it. I, I, I exactly, <laughs> but it's we're amongst friends here. Um, talk to, to us. I mean, the Capital beers here, they're Abbey style beers. What are Abbey beers? What are Abbey style beers? And also then Trappist beers. That's a that's a real good good point. This sampler pack from uh, Capital has four different Abbey beers in the, uh, in the mix. Abbey beers are nothing more than um, recipes of monks. Okay. The, 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 the back in the 16, 1700s, mm -hmm. monks would actually brew the beer. Okay. Um, it, it has come to pass that there is only a few Trappist beers. So let me let me explain the difference. Abbey beers are recipes of monks brewed by larger commercial breweries. Okay. Trappist beers are beers that are physically brewed by monks within the bricks and mortar of the monastery. Of the, of the monastery. So the Trappist beers, like a West Lettering. Uh, Rochefort, Chimay are physically 
brewed within the monastery, within the bricks and the moor. Okay. An abbey beer, where they don't have the facilities to actually brew the beer, they will do a, um, a recipe. Okay. They will pass that on to a bigger, more commercial brewery. Not that Van Ecke is a, is a large brewery by any stretch. But these are all Belgian craft beers. And, and, and the They're all family-owned breweries. Yes. So, so they, those monks, the, 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 the Capitel Monastery, pass that recipe on to uh, Van Ecke. Uh, and Eka brews the beer for them, okay. uh, and they actually get royalties uh, for every uh, case of beer that's sold. So that way, some of the money does go back to the to the monastery, monastery. so they can either make repairs to the building, the, uh, the monks their shoes. Yeah, exactly, their <laughs> social can, purpose, exactly. their, their mission. And so, an Abbey beer, and only the Belgians can be called Abbey beers. I mean, Correct. I mean, that is something that, that is... That, that is true. They're, well, again, um, you have Abbey beers. They're recipes of monks. Right. So if those monks decide to have their beer brewed in, let's say, uh, by Koningshoven or in Holland or some other areas, you can have some Abbey, Abbey beers, beers that are outside of Belgium. Sure. But you. Um, but to be called an Abbey beer, it has to be, again, related to a monastery to, and a recipe that's coming from a, a, a monastery. Correct. Okay. Okay. Wonderful stuff. So, um, we have, there's the names here of Pater, Pryor, uh, Blonde, and Ant. Talk to us about the different styles of beer. The, um, the names actually go back to the monastery. Okay. So an apt, for example, that's the highest level that you can achieve in a monastery. Okay. That's so the, the abbot. abbot the abbot is it the English A-B-B-O-T, version. A B B O T. That would be the abbot, or shortened is the apt. Okay. So once you got to that level um, in the monastery, then you are able to consume that apt beer. Once you first get into the monastery, you're you're basically nothing more than a plebe. Yeah. And, uh, you know, you're a novice. Like you're a novice. Yeah. You're, you're a just, novice. Yeah. Um, and as a novice. You would only drink the lower alcohol products. Okay. Depending upon your rank within the monastery is what beer you are actually allowed to drink. I did not know that. Well, these are all wonderful beers. We're going to be featuring these on draft, actually, at yes. the Elstree's Belgian Beer Festival uh, coming up February 2012 here at Westland, Michigan. Um, I thank you for your time. Roy, thank you very much. I have a drink with you. Gladly. I mean, look at the lace. It's beautiful. Thank you very much.